Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to talk to you about eclipses. I teach a group of kids about science on Mondays. And one of the older kids asked about eclipses. This made me realize that this would be the perfect topic for this week as not many people really understand eclipses. So let's get right into the video. An eclipse happens when a planet or a moon gets in the way of sun's light. Here on earth we can experience two kinds of eclipses. One is solar, other is lunar. It is easy to get these two types of eclipses mixed up, which happens to many of us. An easy way to remember the difference is in the name. The name tells you what gets darker when the eclipse happens. In a solar eclipse, the sun gets darker. In a lunar eclipse, the moon gets darker. Let me first get into the lunar eclipse. During a lunar eclipse, Earth gets in the way of the sun's light hitting the moon. That means that during the night, a full moon fades away as Earth's shadow covers it up. The moon can also look reddish because Earth's atmosphere absorbs the other colors while it bends some light towards the moon. Sunlight bending through the atmosphere and absorbing other colors is also why sunsets are orange and red. During a total lunar eclipse, the moon is shining from all the sunrises and sunsets occurring on Earth. It is true, moon orbits Earth every 29.5 days and lunar eclipses only occur at full moon, but it does not always get in Earth's shadow. The moon path around the Earth is tilted about 5 degrees compared to the Earth's orbit around the Sun. This means that the Moon spends most of the time either above or below the plane of the Earth's orbit. And the plane of the Earth's orbit around the Sun is important because Earth's shadow lies exactly in the same plane. During the full moon, our natural satellite usually passes above or below Earth's shadow and misses them in time, therefore no eclipse. But two to four times each year, the moon faces through some portion of Earth's penumbral and umbral shadows. Because they don't happen every month, lunar eclipse is special event. Unlike solar eclipses, a lot of the people get to see each lunar eclipse. If you live on the night time half of the earth when the eclipse happens, you will be able to see it. Unlike solar eclipses, lunar eclipses are completely safe to watch. You don't need any kind of protective filters. It is not even necessary to use a telescope. You can watch the lunar eclipse with nothing more than your own eyes. If you have a pair of binoculars, they will help to magnify the view and also make the red collaboration brighter and easier to see. A standard pair of binoculars 7x35 or 7x50 works fine. Remember to dress formally and enjoy the spectacle. I want to explain two terms I used previously, umbral, penumbra. During an eclipse, there are two shadows are cast. Physicists describe shadow volume in terms of umbra and penumbra. What is umbra? Umbra is get smaller. As it goes away from the sun, it is the dark center of an eclipse shadow. For example, in astronomy, if the sun is shining directly on the western hemisphere of the earth, the eastern hemisphere will be bathed in darkness. So any objects behind the Earth, such as Moon or any planets, are in the Earth's umbra, the dark spot. Penumbra is where you are getting away from the darkness. In other words, you are going away from the sun. So when this happens, the shading gradually lessens from shadow to light as penumbra 
stretches away from the umbra. I want to briefly explain blood moon. Sun is always casting earth shadow. Moon is basically passing into our shadow. So the true eclipse is happening at the moon, not earth. Now, if anyone can witness the moon at this time, can see the eclipse. Earth shadow is in the space while moon goes across the shadow. Now, the sunlight is coming from behind the earth and cannot get through the earth's big body. But the light curves and leaks through the earth's atmosphere and casts some light into the shadow. Now hear me here. Also we have to remember how much pollution and dust in the atmosphere. The sunlight that gets through the atmosphere will look like the sunset. In other words, deep red light inside the shadow. Moon which is wanting to disappear will be carrying the reflected red light. Therefore, many people started to see the reddish moon as blood moon. It is funny how some religious folks mislead the blood moon as apocalypse, like end of the world. Now, solar eclipse. At just the right moment, the moon passes between the sun and earth. The right moment is essential here. Even though the moon is much smaller, about 400 times smaller than the sun, it is also about 400 times closer to earth than the sun is. This means that from earth, the moon and the sun appear to be roughly the same size in the sky. Now you may ask, how can it block all the light? Because it is just the right distance away from the earth, which allows moon to fully block the sun's light from Earth's perspective. Now stay with me here. When objects are closer to us, they appear to be bigger than objects that are far away. Most stars in the night sky look like a tiny white dot of light. Many of those stars are larger than our own sun. They are just much farther away from Earth. So when the moon comes between Earth and the Sun during to total solar eclipse, the Moon appears to completely cover up the light from the Sun. This is important. The total solar eclipses won't be around forever. In about millions of years from now, any living life on Earth may not experience any eclipses because each year moon is slowly getting away from us. Scientists using laser ranging measurements were able to detect that there is a change in the distance from earth to moon. Moon is moving away from us at a rate about 3.78 centimeters or 1.5 inches per year. Therefore, moon will appear smaller and smaller in our sky. The moon's orbit is not perfectly round. That means that sometimes the moon is slightly farther away from Earth than it is other times. Sometimes the moon is far enough away that it does not create total solar eclipse. In this case, the moon obscures most of the sun, but a thin ring of sun remains visible around the moon. Average distance moon from Earth is about 384,400 kilometers. Now check this out. Once the moon's growing, orbit takes it approximately 23,500 kilometers farther away from Earth, it will be it will be always too far to be completely cover the sun. That won't happen for a long time though. At current 1.5 inches every year, it will take more than 600 million years for the total eclipses to completely disappear. General Theory of Relativity Einstein suggested that sun's gravity will bend the path of light from distant stars. It is testable prediction, but only 
during a total eclipse. So in 1919, British astronomer Sir Arthur Stanley Eddington photographed the solar eclipse and proved that lights bend around our sun. This is affirmed the prediction of Einstein's theory of general relativity. In other words, if you look at the left corner of the picture, the location of actual star, but the light takes from an apparent location of the star. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and click the bell icon. Feel free to leave a comment below. I will see you in my next video. Cheers.